Do not go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave close at day. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Though wise men at their end no dark is right, because their words have forked no lightning they. Do not go gentle into that good night. Good men the last wave by. Crying how bright. Their frail deeds might have danced in a green bay. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Wild men who caught and sang sun in flight and learned too late grieved it on its way. Do not go gentle into that good night. Grave men near death who seeking blinding sight. Blind eyes could blaze like meteors and be gay. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. And you, my father, there on the sad height, curse, bless me now with your fierce tears, I pray. Do not go gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. The storm all about how my life got turned, flipped upside down, and take a little picture and tap that down and I'd yell the cabbie, your home, where's Blair? Dun, dun. I pulled up to the house and I seven or eight and I nailed to the cab of your home. Smell you later. I was looking at the end and I was finally there. You can dip dip a on the pitch of Blair. Hey everybody, it's Midnight Maven. I'm back with the judgment. The judgment like Judge Judy bitches. No, um, no, the, I've been doing a series, obviously, if you've been following along. If you haven't, let's get into it. This is uh, based on the tarot card judgment, and it could also be equivalent to some sort of Christian, um, like t judgment day. I mean, it's pretty general. It's pretty universal. So if you're a diehard Christian or somebody who believes in the uh, the occult or the, you know spiritual realm, it's this is for anybody that does that. Just as long as you have a higher power and you have faith in your beliefs. And your journey and your, you know, that's all you need. So, what I've been feeling a lot for everybody is that we're all doing this last test here in 2024. It's been trials and tribulations for a lot of people. A lot of people I know that um, the tide is going to be turning pretty fast and pretty fiercely, pretty swiftly over the next following months. And leading into 2025, maybe the middle of it, so probably about the next year, next um, by next calendar year, um, we're all going to have to step up to the roles that we were meant to be assigned from ed everything from a hooker to the president or some sort of, uh, you know, highfalutin philanthropist or biochemist. CEOs, anything that we, we're we going to be where we're supposed to be because some of us, you know, have been following that path and it's just gotten better and then some of us haven't, you know, in my case, I haven't. So I have to do a lot of paperwork, a lot of legwork, a lot of emails, calls um, in all sectors, meaning I have to patch things up with the family and friends that I have neglected over the years because of uh, drugs and alcohol. Also, I have to catch up with my body health because of the HIV diagnosis. I am on Big Tarvi, and the Big Tarvi has been really good, and um, so have the all the antibiotics and the antivirals. Um, you know, dealing with the. Uh, the shingles on the face and everything. It's just getting me healthy again. So I've had to just pump myself full of this and that and whatever. And the sacrifice is going cold turkey with alcohol and going cold turkey with drugs and really adapting a mindset and changing everything down to my thoughts. And if I have a fearful thought or a scary thought, I have to truly believe and I always go back to that day that I thought that I was going to be deformed in the hospital because that was even scarier than dying, which, which was living, being deformed. And I, I don't think I would have been strong enough, but enough about me. I know we're all going through those things. And if you're going through one of those things and that has happened, 
I, I want you to reach out and I want you to know that I, I'm here. I'm interested in your daily life and whatever you're doing. Down to the smallest thing, to the biggest thing, to your wildest dreams. And I want everybody to adapt that attitude of if there's somebody in need or there's somebody that needs a hand and you can do it to be inspired, not bar, uh, uh, bothered by it, you know, this is something we get to do, not this thing life, not something we have to do. You know, I mean, it is something we have to do. But it, when you have the mentality of, oh, I have to do this and I have to do that. And I know it's easier said than done. And everybody's case is so different. Right now, I just think we need to focus on how far we've come and how done we are with the old cycle and ready to come to the new cycle. And that brings me to human nature. And human nature is tendency to resist change is that of a stubborn Taurus bull. <laughs> and you know how that goes. Taurus is a, are stubborn as fuck. But here is a uh, excerpt from the angels. Uh, sorry. The angel. Shit. This is why I need to be ready. This is a lot of stuff. The Heaven on Earth Tarot. Uh, here it goes. This here judgment is all about rising up to meet the call of your destiny. You are the hero in your journey, and it is time to work towards what you were meant to do and become and awaken each day to a new you and a new period of time when you can continue putting your uh, putting your waking wait, sorry, when you can continue putting one foot in front of the other to make your life make the life. Sorry, I cannot read today. Make the life you have in your head be a reality in your waking world. Forgiveness and healing are also aspects of judgment. This is second to last to the card in the major arcana. As such, there is only one more step along the path of your spiritual journey. Before you can move on, you may want to consider forgiving and clearing out any past transgressions you have towards yourself and to others. Leave them behind so you can be reborn into a better future where you are free to move around as you desire. And what that means to me is that on your new journey, you're going to take the very best of what you've gained, what you, the knowledge and how much you've grown and all the aspects and virtues that you should take along, like, you know, street savviness, intuition, friends, family members, um, mantras of thinking, um, ways to love, ways to be, habits to have, and... Shit, shit to focus on you know what I mean like the, the just the most virtuous and the most uh altruistic and um auspicious things in your life um the key word for this is ending uh and it's resurrection rebirth awaken to a brighter future heed spirits call Returning to the source, time to move on, and time to craft a new personality. So yeah, a bit of your personality will change. Um, for me, what that means, an example of that is um, I always try to make people laugh because it's a form of insecurity. And I have to be the funniest person in the room with the, the best anecdote because I want people to like me so. And so I will sometimes do that and um, really put my foot in my mouth sometimes so I'm learning to just speak when necessary so I'm learning to say less and I find that funny that I'm doing this podcast because it seems like I'm saying more but I'm making sure that with every word and with every um, sentence that I'm um, having more of a purpose with that and the questions that we should be asking ourselves is what transformations is taking place or what transformation is taking place where do we want to explore in the world what call do you need to heed at this moment? What does it mean to be awakened? Are you rising up to meet the challenge of a new day? And what rebirth are you going to have in your life? When you listen to the call of your intuition and know what you were made for, you heed the call of the angel blowing its horn. Rising up meeting the challenge means rising up, up on the street, to my dad, to my glory. It's the Eye of the tiger, it's the friend in my mind up to the challenge of our rivals. 
It's the last no Sorry. Do everything in your power to walk on your path to completion. It gives you mo motivation. Motivation. It energizes you. It wakes you up to what is going on in the world so you can complete the tasks. This elevates your our understanding. We feel empowered to live our lives in gratitude and grace for living each day as we choose to be, not as we are forced to be, uh, become. Refusing the horn is always an option. When you stop listening to your internal desires... And being entertained and focused on what others are doing with their their time, jealousy creeps in. This is an ugly emotion which tears relationships apart and makes people angry. Not listening to the music of your spirit is a dangerous thing for it turns to to those who ignore it in a twist into twisted bullies who remain cold and alone. Not listening to the music of your spirit is a dangerous thing for it turns those who ignore it into twisted bullies and remain cold and alone. Salvation can be had by listening to the call and watching for the path to open up and bring fortune back into your life. That was beautiful. And let me leave you with this uh, Star Codes Astro Oracle. I randomly pulled one and it said the Ninth House Exploration. So this is what we're going to do, y'all. If your chart were a village map, the ninth house, House of Sagittarius, would contain the International Airport University or Broadcasting Tower. The ninth house is originally... Sorry, I can't read. See, that's why I need to slow down. The ninth house is the original World Wide Web. It speaks of how we expand our world through unofficial and official higher education, travel, international understanding, philosophy, and global communication. The action here is go exploring. Step outside of your comfort zone to see what lies beyond the boundaries of your family bubble or familiar bubble. Step into a new country. Try on a fresh attitude and immerse yourself into an unusual body of knowledge or a spiritual philosophy you didn't know growing up. It is hard to see your bubble the lens for your experience until you step outside of it. Look back at your socioeconomic me melee, family and friends and education, and comfort unconscious assumptions that your people, your class, your culture is all there is, because there's so much more. You are being charged to develop a truly diverse perspective and understand that real diversity in a person, ecosystem, or company Builds resilience. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Push your unique boundaries. If you are in an urban, urbane international traveler, if you are an, an urbane, an urbane international traveler, that's hard to say. You may be mo, you be blah, 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 blah. you may be most stretched by small town life. Read the philosophy and spirituality from a far corner of the world. Once you've done all this work, share what you've learned with the world as a speaker, writer, traveler, teacher, or internet diva. <laughs> Wake up the world! And here's our challenge, folks. When you finally break through and can see the far horizons, it can be difficult to reconcile the allure of those infinite possibilities with the familiarity of the people close to you. Both are important. And our gift is here, folks. Widen your horizon and expand your world. Explore in your mind, body, and soul. Teach what you know. The world is waiting for you. So, come and knock on my door. I've been waiting for you. When the kisses are hers and hers and M3 is company, you. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. Remember to like, share, subscribe. Love ya. My, midnight Maven. Midnight Maven. See ya.